So a week or so ago, I guess this past weekend was the start of it. I'm not sure when it started, but for people who follow golf, the PGA Tour is the, the main league for professional golfers. And Saudi Arabia decided to make their own league called the Live Tour, Live Golf or whatever it's called. And in order to get the best athletes from the PGA Tour, they gave them a shit ton of money. We're talking in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, it was reported that Tiger Woods was offered in the range of like 700, to a, 700 million to a billion dollars. But Tiger said no, which is like, whoa. Tiger said no to like $700 million. It's, wow. Obviously, there's controversy around the live tour because it's done by Saudi Arabia, which isn't, you know, the, the best country with, you know, doing little shady things politically and all that stuff. But this is not about that. The whole idea is like they have the established PGA tour and then this mm. outsider can come in and wave a bunch of cash in the face of the athletes. And some of the big notable athletes are willing to leave their tour and PGA is like banning them from coming. I'm not sure if they're banning them from coming back, but they're not allowed to compete. It's this whole thing. Yeah. But people like Phil Mickelson are willing to make the move because the money's good. And it got me thinking, how much money, if you and me wanted to put on a track meet, we call it the Gordon mm -hmm. and Kevin Invitational, and we're going to host it the same week as the Olympics. It's going to be in Austin, Texas. How much money would I need to pay each athlete to skip the Olympics to come to run in my track meet? Guaranteed One, money there's or a prize number? money? There's, there's definitely a number, right? There's definitely a number. There's definitely a number that will convince someone like Elaine Thompson, hurrah, to be like, no, I'm not going yeah. to the Olympics. I'm coming to Austin, Texas to run at the Gordon Kevin Invitational. What is that number? The problem is the better the people, you want the best people, right? That's yes. the way your meat would work is the best people. Yes. The problem is the best people are going to be the hardest to convince because they're the ones who are going to make the most money off of the Olympics, right? With their sponsorships and bonuses and just the tradition of competing. I mean, I would think it would need to be north of 10 million, 5 million. That's not that much. What's the number you thought? I mean, I think, I mean, $10 million. It's $10 million. These track athletes It's a number that you don't, it's a number that you don't have is what I'm saying. Because well, also you got to factor in. Crypto, you know, like it's doing right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> really? Did you check this morning? Uh, you got to factor in too the pressure that, especially not, you know, athletes from smaller countries would feel to compete. And that I think would weigh on them as well too. Now with this golf thing, you're right. There's that whole other separate entity, which makes people not want to be involved with it. And just that, but if you're just talking like pure, all right, we're creating, there's going to be a second, there's going to be a competitor to the Olympics or world championships, um, especially the world championships. I think you might want to start there with the world championships. Because that's, you could do that for less money. I think people could be pulled away from the world championships. Because I was talking to a friend of mine who knows a lot about elite swimming. And he said, at the world championships for swimming this year, a lot of countries are prioritizing the Commonwealth Games over the world championships. And he said to me, imagine if Elaine Thompson, hurrah, was like, not going to Worlds this year, guys, going to do Commonwealth. But in the world of swimming, for Great Britain or Australia or South Africa, like that's all right, that's a logical decision. Because then you you think about it, it's like, well, a lot of this stuff's just based off of tradition and the way things were done, and that's how we're going to keep doing them. So I think world championships would be much easier to pull people away. Olympics just brings in this much bigger audience, so that one would be where you need to really back up the. Uh, back up the Brinks truck for. So I think what I would do is I would do, I wouldn't do every event, right? I would only focus on the events that I care about, um, which I've been thinking about last night. 
but I think I would do 20 million for first, 10 million for second, 8 million for third, and then down 1 million all the way to eighth and only invite eight people. So mm-hmm. There's no rounds. So I think that's how I would do it. Cause then I also want to incentivize them to try to win, right? Not just show up, jog, collect yeah. a check. You're like, yeah, you get, you double your prize if you win, whatever. So I'll do that. Um, my main question is like, could I, how much would it cost to get Usain Bolt to get on the track? Like, do you think I could learn 2022 Bolt Usain out of retirement? Bolt? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about 16 Bolt in his final Olympics would be tough because. No, no. Again. No, I'm talking about 2022 Bolt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bolt no, might but here's be, the thing. honestly. He would only get the money Bolt if he be, wins. Well, so he'd force him to train. I would have to make him train. Yeah. Like, I'll give you $50 million if you win the race. See, that's tif- difficult because then it gets into reputation and pride stuff. And he's probably like, I can just do another commercial for something and make that money up. But I was going to say million just convincing him. If you win the race. Convincing him to come would be easier than Thompson and Rob because he's not actively competing. So he's not giving anything up. Oh, 100? Yes, he would do it for 100 million. 100%. But you'd have to win. You only, you only get the 100 million if you win. But who else is in this hypothetical? Everybody's there? Well, I'm definitely getting the fourth best USA athlete. Definitely getting the fourth best USA athlete there because <laughs> he's not going to be at. Yeah. You know, but so what does he get guaranteed? Does he get anything guaranteed or is it only if he, he gets wins? 10 million guaranteed, 100 million if he wins. And we're going to assume he's going to have to run like 9-8 to win. Basically, would he start training for Mm -hmm. an extra $90 million? I think so. Because he hates training. That's That's a lot of money, I get Bolt to train for the Gordon Mack and Kevin Sully Invitational in Austin, Texas. That's a lot of money. I don't know his financials, but that's a lot of money. I think he'd do it. Yeah, I'd do it. Why not? In shape again. Yeah, I think, I think you, I think, yeah, breaking, breaking away for the Olympics is, is tough. Breaking away from the world championships, easier. Breaking away from the Diamond League, extremely easy. That would not, you could probably do that. What's the prize money now? Like $10,000. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're talking 10 million here, 5 million there. You could do the whole thing for that much, probably with the Diamond League. Like, imagine if the Diamond League, it was, it was like a million a meet. Or someone could Pretty offer cool. a million a meet. Imagine how few scratches you'd see. <laughs> Imagine how little you'd hear the phrase, ah, the most important part of the season's down the line. Yep. Nope. That would disappear from the vocabulary of a lot of athletes. People would be clamoring to get into every meet. Like agents oh would be the most important person <laughs> for a track and field athlete. Get me in the event. By the Get end of the, the by the end of the first season, they're going to start campaigning to have a twelve lane track because they're like, we need yeah. we need more lanes. We need to let more people in on this yeah. million dollar prize that we give out every week. <laughs>